Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome to the new channel, The Garden Backyard. And today, I'm going to kind of walk you through our little backyard garden, and then uh, I'm going to show you how we grow different things. We're not organic. We use some chemical fertilizers, uh, but this is just the way we grow different flowers and vegetables for our own enjoyment. Uh, I hope you enjoy this channel and uh, we will be updating, hopefully getting better videos as we go. So with that said, I'm going to come over now and show you what is in the garden and what is in the greenhouse. So first, we have some, this is lettuce, and it's red romaine lettuce, and it's already harvesting size, so we've got that, and then we've got some more lettuce over here is the special lettuce, and this lettuce actually survived the 10 degree winter we had for about three days and it came back out and now it's making some delicious lettuce in a little bit I'm gonna have to uh, we've got a lot of rain coming and I'm gonna put some straw down to make sure that this uh, particular patch doesn't get covered with dirt as the rain washes up the water on it over here I have planted some okra it's a little too early to plant it and as you see I don't really have a stand of okra coming up from this and I decided to try it since I had soaked some seeds here are some green onions these are small green onions they don't get bigger than this and they're growing I've planted some carrots and they're just now starting to peek through I don't know if you can even see that, but that's them. Over here is the asparagus patch. And as you can see, the asparagus is coming out. We've harvested this about three times. We let the little ones grow on up and become ferns so they'll get stronger roots for next year. And we take the big ones, cut them, and eat them. It's about time to get these big ones out of here and then here is some bok choy that has already been planted and it came up really really thick what I'll do is thin it as it gets bigger and that's what we're doing with that this is chive chive is uh, got thinned out by the cold cold weather it didn't survive very well so we're probably going to have to replant the chai a lot of weeds in there to get out and that is uh, everything except the line of garlic we have here and here's garlic and we've got a whole line of garlic and you may ask what's with the fence well, the fence is the way that I like to grow things, especially in a limited space. So what we do with the, the fence is we grow up instead of out. So I'm gonna put cucumbers where this garlic is and we'll grow a cucumber garden down this line. Now, what's in the greenhouse? Well, over here, we have a pretty full shelf and we'll just kind of go down the line these are some flowers there's some bulbs in here that my wife has planted and nothing's come up yet these are some um, korean pumpkins they're not really pumpkins they're kind of a squash but they're like pumpkins these are some banana peppers that I just planted and 
only one has come up the rest of these that are coming up are weeds this is some more of my wife's flowers these are the cucumbers and I'll show you what they're supposed to look like and they're not supposed to this is what they will look like and then here are some more cucumbers that have been planted that are not up these are some actually some Asian peppers that won't be hot they're, they're just going to be taste about like bell peppers used for cooking and just eating in salads over here are some climbing butter beans now, I've already raised one section of these and actually planted them in the ground just because they got too big for the cups now this is what will happen if you plant a whole packet of seeds I had planted first these seeds of uh, these are cherry tomatoes and they didn't come up so I said well maybe the seeds are bad I planted all the seeds well as you see uh, the seeds were not bad and here's some that I have actually moved into the cups then this <clears throat> is a big disappointment I like to try different things so this year I bought these peat rolls and these peat rolls were supposed to make all these different uh, vegetables that would come up and here's a map of what I planted I planted watermelons and bush beans and zucchini and yellow squash some Korean hot peppers and all these different things and actually nothing has come up yet and it's been about 10 days so I'm very disappointed in this I think the seeds got in there this stuff held too much water probably rotted the seeds these are what's left of my orange peppers these are uh, more orange peppers I'm sorry these are bell peppers and then these are some tomatoes that I planted at the first of March transplanting them into larger pots and they're doing fabulous these are better boy tomatoes which are my favorite tomato to grow and the reason I like these is because they bear very nice size slicing fruit and it's very uniform whereas something like the big boy usually is not as uniform as these and down here I have these are actual potatoes they sprouted in the house so I came out and stuck them in this pot and I need to put them in the ground but I'm going to wait until after this weekend when we have cold uh, rainy weather coming in these are some flowers my wife planted these here are some early girl tomatoes and as you can see they are just starting this one here is just taking off for some reason and here are some Asian eggplants and that is those and I'll show you what came out of the greenhouse and I'll have to put it back for this cold rainy windy spell we're about to have and these over here I've got them labeled are orange uh, bell peppers and then over here are just regular bell peppers and then that's uh, an early girl tomato over here is okra I need to get that in the ground it's starting to get a little yellow and then over here are all these are Korean mild peppers and they are ready to plant into the ground and then we'll look at a couple of the vines we've got here in the trees this is a very nice vine of muscadines and then I've got another kind of muscadine over here and these are just coming out luckily they didn't kill by our last frost and then started these in the garden these are snow peas the snow peas are doing excellent they're climbing the fence 
and they will produce probably starting uh, first week in May. They're looking nice. So we got the snow peas. Uh, and that is about it except for over here. These are climbing butter beans. And the climbing butter beans will go up, and this is what's left of last year's vines. They'll take this whole fence over and you pick the butter beans off the fence. I had to go ahead and put seven dust on them because you put them out and something just eats them up if you don't immediately treat them with seven dust. But anyway, I'm very excited to have the climbing butter beans again. And then there's some more lettuce right here. That's a red romaine lettuce. And once again, I need to treat that with, uh, not treat it, but uh, put some straw around this to keep them clean when it rains because this is about eating size also. And that, folks, is the garden. And then here is a pear tree. These are the Korean apple pears. You've uh, probably seen those in the grocery store. And they've already bloomed and there's little pears on there. Some of these are going to fall off because of the, the freeze, but there's too many on here anyway. So we'll see how that works. And I have to spray these all the time. Here's one that's already fallen. And 